How's it going everyone? This is Cloud Chief and in today's video I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about FFXIAH.com. Uh, if you don't know what this site is, it is Final Fantasy Auction House and essentially it is a way that you can look at all the auction house items and even stuff in people's bazaars among doing many other things. I had not made this video before because I honestly didn't think it was necessary. I thought that this was actually common knowledge. But after seeing more shouts, talks in one of the link shells that I've been in and just even seeing some stuff like on Reddit, I've come to the conclusion that I should take the time to make a video. So here we go. Just one of the nicest things about this site is that you can see easily whatever it is that you're looking for. So say I wanted to work on Alexandrite and come over here and type in Alex or we want pieces of Alexandrite and since we're on Azura let me just show that it does show all the different servers and even inactive servers. I'm not sure why they have the inactive servers listed but whatever. So then we search and like right now we can see that there's currently zero singles on the auction house but we can come up here and click stack we can see that there's 50 stacks of singles and they're currently selling for 550k per stack or stack of 99. Um, you can also come down here and we can look at the uh, bazaars and this is what people have in their bazaars and what price they're currently selling at. So you can honestly come on here and figure out exactly you know who has what you need if it's available and just go and purchase it this person right here likely is not in Rulud Gardens because they haven't been seen for three hours or that someone's already bought it and yet it'll still be listed on here even if someone's bought it so that is something just to be aware of another very nice thing about this site is that they link the stuff to the actual wikis so you can come here and click it and it'll give me the information on it and it even tells you how to obtain it if it's you know well-known knowledge if we go back to the head page they also even show shouts although if you're gonna be using that there is lag since we are on the subject of auction house I did, there is something that's always bothered me about a lot of stuff on 11 because this is the only economy that I know of that you pay more for a stack so right now like if we look at HP bailed Right now, it's selling for, you know, we'll say, I wouldn't say it's, you're going to get it normally for 3 k That was someone just throwing it up there for cheap, hoping it would sell easily. But you can see it probably sells somewhere between 5 and 6 k uh, for a single. But then if we come and look at a stack, it is, you know, 900 k So it's like, if I continually bought singles on here, I shouldn't really be spending more than 600 k for a stack, although it would take a while. And then it gets for 900 and I can see people coming and saying being like oh well it's more convenient to buy a stack if you need to buy a lot yes but you are still buying in bulk and this is the only economy I've ever seen where singles are more expensive than you know buying in bulk but for whatever goofy reason this seems to be a trend just in Final Fantasy 11 and I just thought it was something interesting that I should point out if you're trying to bizarre certain items like let's go ahead and say Alex or your Plutons, uh, you know, Betsu and that type of stuff, or even anything that's used for Magian trials, heavy metal plates, Rift Cinder and stuff, I don't know why more people don't bizarre next to the NPC where you turn them in. That seems like the easiest way to have people, one, find you, and two, you're right there for them making it easy, and I will often do this and can quite often sell things for slightly higher than what the kind of going rate is. And like I said, you can just easily do this just by positioning yourself you know, near the NPC. You can be in Nash Mal with Alex. You can you know, be near Obero with Plutons, Betsu, and Riftborn Boulders. And I mean, you I, be creative with this. If you're selling, you know, say s mats for goldsmithing, you should probably be hanging out near the goldsmithing guild, bazaaring the stuff. Uh, you're typically going to sell things much faster and easier. People, you know, are typically going to run to those NPCs or those areas to do whatever it is they're doing, and they can see you there. They don't even need to bother checking on an auction house to try and find the best price make it easy for your customers and you're more likely able to sell it at a higher price and likely to sell it just quicker anyway 
And the last thing I want to touch on, while it is slightly off topic, we are talking about bazaars and selling stuff, so I think it bears going into, but things with pouches. Uh, was it Regina Stones uh, are a very good example of this, but this applies to anything, whether it's Alex pouches, heavy metal pouches, uh, whatever. You are better off not buying the pouches. Um, whenever I see pouches sold, they are always sold for an extremely high price compared to if you're buying singles. Yes, it is possible you could make money on it, but the odds of that are against you if you sit there and do the math. Perfect example right here, you can see someone is selling a bag of Plucet Stones for 19k where I can buy a single Plucet Stone off of another, you know, character who's bizarring here for, you know, 1.1k. So that would mean I would need to, you know, get 17 stones out of that one pouch just to even come close to being the same, much less a better deal than me just going and buying the singles off the other guy. And I've seen this across the board. While if you're getting like top 80% every time you pop a bag, yeah, you're probably making you know money on that. But the chances of that are extremely low. You're obviously just from odds going to be much closer to the 50 range. So that's just really the last thing I want to touch on is just stay away from buying pouches if you're buying items. Uh, they're a ripoff. I don't really get you know why people would actually buy them and I don't get why people actually sell them for the price they do. And if you're trying to sell them, you're better off and typically faster from what I've seen just to break them up yourself and then go ahead and sell them. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for you know tuning in. Thank you for supporting the channel and may you have success in all you do.